Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do the full review of the Android M Develop Preview on Google Nexus 6. I've already done the same videos for the other two Nexus devices which are Nexus 5 and the Nexus 9. So, let's just quickly start it off with the lock screen. So you can see that uh, we have that option to unlock the device here and then also we have this quick shortcut to go into the camera. Now, uh, what I like here is that the, the camera UI is basically the same as before, but the focus is now a little bit more great. You can see that. And it is improved a lot on the Nexus 5, and same for the Nexus 6 also, the focus. And, and one great thing is that you can also focus in front camera mode, which is also really nice, which we, which we didn't have before. So, and the other uh, shortcut that we have here is for the Google Now. So, if I just quickly unlock here with my pattern, uh, you can see that from the looks, it, it is not that different from the, from the lollipop, uh, but it has some few uh, different changing. Um, you know, it's not like different in terms of material, uh, material design, uh, but it is different in terms of the, um, in some features that it has. So first of all, uh, you, the biggest change that you will see right away is the is the app drawer now. Now the um, the app drawer is not now uh, vertical in terms of the scrolling, and we have this search area where you can search the application that you want to launch. So it's not like the horizontal scrolling like we had on uh, had before. So that is really nice, and uh, and you also see the navigation buttons, which are also the same as before. Uh, you can go here into the um, notification settings um, where you can see your quick settings um, and also once you um, touch this brightness lighter it gives you a preview and then also um, you can you can have this um, this do not disturb mode which is really nice because you have these three options priority only where you can have your customized um, notification that you want to see customized uh, notification then alarms only like you you will only receive the notification of alarm and then also total silence which is a great mode because if you want to sleep and if you don't want to get any notification not even alarm then you can just block all uh, the notification you know like it says that this blocks all the sound and vibration on your phone so um, that's also one a good feature total silence and uh, then also if I go back here you can go here into the main settings um, you can see that uh, there's not much of a difference in terms of the settings there if I go into about phone and you can see the Easter egg is not uh, is not yet done it only shows this emoticon and if you tap on the on the bill number a couple of times if it just zoom in if you tap on the bill number a couple of times it will say that you are a developer now if I go here into a developer option uh, there is a there is a option that that is basically hidden which is a theme option where you can change the theme of your uh, Android M device from light to dark if I set it to the dark now you can see I have now um, dark, darker UI, and which is which looks um, a little bit more different than what we have. Um, then also, if I go back here, I one thing that I want to show you here is in the in the uh, let's see app settings. Yeah, if I go here into apps, this is the, these are the apps that I have installed. Um, you know, like we sometimes we have to clean cache of a specific app, so it's easy to find that application because the system applications are hidden. Um, I mean, these are the system application like Android Work Assistant and stuff like that. These services in the background, so you can. Uh, this is an option that you can hide them and you can easily find the application that you want to uh, mess with. And you can also go into the advanced op um, option where you have this default apps option, uh, which is really nice. Like uh, this is the feature that we had before on Android, but but there wasn't a dedicated good option for it. So now you can set up the default browser app, the phone app, uh, the SMS app. Like if I download the the UC browser, I can set it as a default browser instead of the Google Chrome. So it's really nice, and then also we have the app links option, um, which is again 
different type of option that we have seen you can see that sporty links um, like if you, like for example you're using Facebook and you click on a specific link you can you know it just open up um, that that browser so you know the Chrome is allowed to support that um, you know you can have that um, app links option like which app will going to access that then app permissions also a little bit similar to that like uh, let's say um, location uh, so uh, these all of these applications can access my location if I don't want Chrome to access my location I can just turn it off and yes now the Chrome can't access my location and this is really good for privacy this is the best uh, feature that I like here uh, with this um, with, with this Android M, um, the the second best feature basically the first is the RAM, the new RAM management that we have here, uh, which basically shows which app is is eating up your RAM. Uh, like this white part shows the free part, this green part shows the maximum usage, and this uh, this this darker part shows the average usage. So you can see that Google app uses this much. And you know, on the Nexus 6, uh, there is a lot less usage um, as compared to the Nexus 5. And uh, you can also refresh, and you can see around 50% of RAM is used over 9 minutes. And this is a 3GB phone, so uh, almost 50% is remaining, so I can just easily play any game and stuff like that. So uh, you can see that I have nothing open in the background, but still it is 50% eaten. Well, this one, well, this is a little bit frustrating. I mean, some Android background applications are running. You can also hold down the screen. It will give you these three options, wallpaper, widgets, and settings. Uh, you can go into this Google Now settings, um, basically. Um, and also, we have this Now Cars option. You can turn it on. Um, like, let's say, if I swipe up, and you can see, it can show me that Cars stuff, whatever they, are, they have put it here. Um, but it's not working at the moment because it says that the cards about the screen you were just viewing aren't available in this release so probably going to see in the next one so yeah I, I'm not that much of a Google Now user but, but you can quickly access it from the lock screen that is nice if you use uh, Google a lot like if you have to Google instantly for for anything like for 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 some word meaning that is really nice so um, give this video a thumbs up share it and subscribe for daily tech videos and I'll see you next one peace out and if you want to know how to install it do visit my channel I have a tutorial set up for all these three Nexus devices thank you